Former nominated Senator Paul Njeroge has found himself in yet another tiff with the police as he accuses them of stealing his Toyota V8 vehicle. The former senator claims that the teen police officers from Nairobi's Central Police Station stole the vehicle from his house together with 600,000 Kenyan shillings that was inside the vehicle. Njeroge, who, who has reported the matter at DCI headquarters, claims that the officers stormed his business premise, attempting to arrest him Friday when, they, when the theft took place. Duncan Haemba with that story. It is at this business premise in Kitengela where Senator Paul Njoroge alleges it all happened. He says more than a dozen police officers stormed the premises Friday as he prepared to leave for some errands. Very arrogant. Um, ready, actually, they, they, they were ready to do anything, I mean, to me, because uh, they came and started threatening me to make any move. And uh, if the, I would try to make any move, they would finish me, because uh, they are aware and uh, they have been told that uh, I usually use guns, and I'm a very violent person. The former senator says he declined to board the police vehicle owing to his condition, and instead requested to be driven in a friend's car together with one police officer from Kitengela to Nairobi's central police station. Njeroge claims as they drove to Nairobi, some officers rushed back to the premise and took away the vehicle together with 600,000 shillings. I tried to find out from them what was the, the, the nature of the complaint and who was the complainant. Uh, they told me that that is not my business. I, I, I'll, I'll find out who is the complainant once I'm at the OCSS office. And also I'll find out the crime I've committed once I'm at the, at the OCSS office. Upon reaching Central Police Station, he says the OCS denied any knowledge of having dispatched officers to pick him, but went ahead to reveal the two vehicles that picked him as a white Subaru registration number KCG 945K and a Toyota Harrier Silver in color KBA 778P. He says that his V8 vehicle registration number KCC 900R is still missing. Walikuja wakaninyanganya fungo za gari yenye nilikuwa nimeachwa nayo na fungo ya gate. Wakakuja direct penye gari ilikuwa wakafungua na wakaenda wakaacha fungo za gate hapo na zile zingine zenye nilikuwa nazo. They said they do not have they never took my vehicle and they are the ones who, who took the vehicle. Of course to me I treated it like they stole my vehicle which had inside uh, 600,000. I was to buy some materials because I'm still going on with the constructions. He is ruling out any possibility that the vehicle could have been recovered by a financial institution whose loan he is still servicing. The politician is said to have acquired the loan to start this petrol station, which was at one time at the center of controversy leading to a shooting incident with former Vivo Energy boss Polika Pigade. The Inspector General of Police, Joseph Boynet, has confirmed the incident to KTN News and says he has directed Nairobi County Police boss to investigate the matter. Duncan Hemba, KTN News.